we are going to look at microsoft access <coughs> so when i open microsoft access I shall have a screen open access you come to the search search there then you can type ms access you can type access just type access you have access there <coughs> Then you click on blank database. When you click on blank database, you'll be prompted to put a database name. So our database we are going to develop is going to be a school management system for a school which is called St. Mary's. So we are going to call this database St. Mary's. It means data base. Then you shall say create. Now when access opens, our ribbon looks like this. It has various tools to use. We shall see what they do. But you see most of the tools under the home tab are the tools that have been used in Microsoft Word. One important tab here is the View tab. Access, when you click on View, it has, we have two views. We have the data sheet view in which we are, and we have the design view. We shall see what these views mean shortly. But Access is a structured database. So Access arranges its data in tables. So as we are going to see, we shall be putting, saving our data in various tables. So automatically Access comes with table one. But if your screen doesn't come with any table, just click on the create button and click create table. Each table we create, we give it a name. So by pressing Ctrl S, it will prompt us to give it a name. <clears throat> and our first table there, we are going to call it student, student data. Now look at the way I'm naming. I'm not putting any space between the words. It's just one word. But when I come to the second word, I begin with a capital letter to show that this is a, a second word. So these are two words, student data. I'm not putting any space in between. So I'll click OK. As you can see, the first table is there, student data. And I'm going to create a second table. Again, I'm going to save it. But this is going to be staff now, staff, staff data. That is okay. I'm going to create a third table. I'm going to create table. Again, Control S to give the table a name. And this one I'm going to call it inventory. So I have three tables. Now, after creating these tables, then we are going to assign what we call data types. Let's begin with the student data. So we are going to assign data types. In Microsoft Access, we have columns, columns. Excel, we also had columns, but in Excel, these columns were labeled A, B, C, D, and so on. When you come to Access, Instead of columns, we talk of fields. So access columns are referred to as fields. We also have rows, like the way we had in Excel. We had rows, and rows were numbered 1, 2, 3. But in access, instead of rows, we call them records. So in access, we have fields, which are columns, 
and we have records which are rows. The first record here has this star which you see here. So in access, we have what we call a primary key. So a primary key is usually a field, a field that has a record which is unique to the database. So every record in the database, in the database must be unique in its own way. And that uniqueness calls for a primary key. That's why we are seeing that star there. So we are going to assign data types, which I'll be also explaining what a data type is. So these fields up here are going to be given, you see this gray, gray area here, where there's ID, click to add, and so on. So this gray area here is going to take a field name. So as we assign data types, we are going to also assign the field names. We are going to give each column a name, and these names are going to come here. And this one, we do it by double-clicking the very table you want to assign data types. Then you come to the Home tab. Under the Home tab, you click on View. Now we have two types of views. We have the data sheet view and the design view. Now the data sheet view is where we see our data, as we are seeing now here. But when we want to design this sheet, you give it field names and to assign data types, which type of data is expected in the field, then we are supposed to go to the design view. So this is how the design view looks like. And in the next video, we are going to start from there and see how we assign various data types. So equally, if I want to the staff data table, I want to assign data types, I open it, double click to open, then you come to view, then design view. Alternatively, the inventory is the same. Double click. Or you can even right click, then you choose design view to do the same thing. You can right click and you choose design view, or you can just double click it and then you come to view, design view. Either way, it will work. So let's meet in the next video and we see how it works.